hello everyone today i am going to implement this uh, fruit plants so as you can see in my in here my food bar is lower and i can go to the one of these fruit plants and eat now you can see the fruits disappeared because i ate them and you can see here my food bar has been filled up so similarly here I can eat them actually I haven't implemented any eating animations or effects to show effects to show the eating yet I'm gonna add them later so this is the part I'm gonna work on today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me Right, and uh, now I have imported this plant, this one, and also a fruit. It's actually this is a lemon, uh, but I'm going to use it as the fruit. Oh, texture is not there. Okay, this is the fruit. Um, actually I could just use uh, this PS12 well for that not a big deal right now I am going to create a, a, a simple plant with fruits so let's go to blueprints and create plant new blueprint plant oh wait wait let me delete this quickly because I have already created this interactable object and yeah, I don't need this one too then let's right click create child blueprint from this interactable object and I'll call it um, fruit plant right now let's add this plant mesh here like this uh, let's move the box to a place like this so it covers the entire plant and the plant starts in the root the box is not submerged I think we can make this a little larger like this okay let's place one in here and uh, if I start the game it's there actually nothing happens so far right so right and here if I open the interactable object here when I overlap with the box uh, it calls a set interactable object on the character and for the this rock bed we show the action sleep uh, uh, all right here if I set the action to eat fruit then if I go here 
I should get oh I didn't get anything all right I'll do it this time why not first time then right eat fruit okay so I get the message eat fruit then let's actually add some fruits here so for that uh, let's open this mesh oh uh, let's add socket add few places another socket alt and drag and another one alt and drag Okay. Mm. Right. Now uh, let's. Uh, how do we add fruit objects? Uh, let's just uh, drag and drop. This lemon I'll rename it to fruit then drag and drop under this let's call it fruit one and let's attach it to the socket cool but it looks really horrible yeah it looks horrible uh, let's just use a spear ah we have this oh it's too large no issue we can We can make it smaller. It's still too large. Okay. And let's use this texture. This material. right one here let's duplicate for two should go into socket two like this for three should go into socket four why not three oh socket four is not correct
Oh, it looks all right. Maybe let's put it uh, here. should be good enough right now this has words cool now let's see how it looks okay Right, now let's implement the eating function. Right, so let's implement the eating part. So for that, uh, let's open the character. And actually in the character, mm, no, we already have implemented interactions, so all we have to do is press E. And here we have this start interaction and action montage. So uh, let's override this. in here actually we can copy the same thing just in case we need we make some changes later on i'll add a call to a parent function as well but for the moment it doesn't do anything valuable right and yeah i'll remove this part mm, no just this part uh, oh no this part also then uh in here we can there should be some event to update these character properties hunger and hydration oh, where is it update character properties yeah this one This one. So let's call this uh, here update character properties, and here we only have on what only what happens is only eating fruits. So therefore, let's for the delta hunger, I'll give 0.3 because we have three fruits and each fruit adds to food points uh, 0.1 as i mean that i'll do it like this and then get them all set hidden in game all of them Uh, 
and also let's add one more additional variable here has fruit or yeah has fruit initial this should be true and after I eat in this set has fruit to false then I uh, if I don't have fruit I shouldn't execute this part so let's add a branch set has fruit uh, check if has put is true hmm. also yeah that would be enough right now let's see what happens Oh, my food level is full ah, it's reducing actually um, so uh, all right let's uh, let it reduce to this level and save the game because uh, right now when I start my food level is already less uh, already reduced all right and then uh, actually I use this uh, implemented digest something like digest somewhere yeah here yeah. to reduce that food level uh, with time but I'm gonna make this 30 seconds well maybe 500 seconds because I don't need it to reduce that fast so yeah now after I eat I should see my food bar increase let's see yeah that happened all right so cool I'm gonna uh, stop this part here and in future I want to improve this system uh, for example when I eat I uh, I need I don't need to have that again when there are no fruit no more fruit and also uh, when I eat it should pop up something like plus three food point uh, plus three food pop up from the fruit plant and then go over here and add it to the food bar with some interesting sound and also with time if I like go somewhere else and come back here again after some time the uh, this tree should have fruits again it should have grown fruits again so those are the things I'm gonna do in future and for now I'm gonna stop this at this point right so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club the link would be in the description below and also I released a project file project files of this uh, teleporting and portal system I implemented recently so you can download that too and yeah thanks for watching uh, project file update of this project will be also available here in patron page and see you in the next episode Goodbye.